hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a nice time as always i appreciate you guys for joining back to watch the video and you know what time it is uh it's time for me to give you guys updates regarding the just by goose and everything in between so of course uh, Fini the judge has now been officially given the nigeria super goose head coach uh in a ceremony today uh conducted by the nff and the minister of sports uh, senator enno was also in attendance i talked about that in the in the in the last video and uh that contract you know which was uh, obviously signed by coach finidi uh, in the event now made him uh the the local coach that uh is now the highest earner you know in the history of nigerian um coaches nigerian local coaches in particular uh, because the report right now is that he's going to be earning at least 15 million a month for this contract which is obviously a massive massive uh you know upgrade uh when you when you compare him with uh the likes of the previous uh local coaches that have handled that position uh the, i mean the, the most that any local coach has have had or had had uh, previously uh didn't exceed uh, two million era it was less than two million era most of them uh, you know had one million era which you know is one of the reasons why siasia was uh you know criticizing nff when we talked about that you know a few, few videos ago uh where he said that nff don't exactly pay local coaches well they don't compensate them well uh but right now finidi is go you know is going to earn way way more than that which is uh something very very nice to see you know happening uh to uh to our home home based coaches it's obviously going to inspire them and make them feel uh make them have a have you know an improved self-esteem make them feel like they're also you know capable you know in uh, in terms of uh delivering just like their foreign counterparts but that said uh of course uh the the, the you know there's the assistants were also announced uh, in the last video i only talked about amokachi who is his first assistant coach and then uh also uh let you guys know uh, about olatunji barua who's the goalkeeper trainer but there's a new inclusion there are two new inclusions right now uh you know you know in the foreign aspects uh, we have a chima onike who is now the fitness trainer and uh, we have uh, benjamin james who's uh, the second assistant uh, omakachi is the first assistant benjamin james is the second assistant then uh chima onike fit fitness trainer who's uh technically a half cast he's half holland or netherlands and then half nigerian his dad is a nigerian but he has been in holland you know all through his life played his football before he retired all in holland uh you know and then he retired and went into uh, fitness but then i'll give you guys you know a brief uh talks about or a brief introduction a brief details about uh, at, uh, uh you know onike and benjamin james uh, i already talked amunike is you know someone that we already know obviously uh you know he had a, a previous uh, assistant coaching duty spell with uh the late steven keshi of course they found success in that one winning our third uh trophy afcon trophy then there is uh james james benjamin who's uh, the second assistant coach uh in his playing days he used to be a defender he's very tall around seven foot or thereabouts uh, uh he's an ex-international uh for nigeria born and bred in ajegunle lagos of course which is a very very popular uh, uh you know city for uh a lot of nigerian uh, ex-nigerian super eagles players and golden eaglets players and and the likes so he now you know occupies the space of the second assistant he played club football in the mpfl uh you know league in nigerian league across different uh clubs shooting stars being one of them uh jib rocks another one of them stationary stores was another club that he played before he eventually moved to europe uh, to play his football and then uh, retiring and then we have uh onyike chima who's uh the uh, the fitness trainer of course i i talked about him being uh, a netherland and nigerian uh, um, man because his dad is a nigerian uh, he also uh 
uh, was an ex-international, but not for Nigeria. He did majority of his playing uh, of his football playing in the Netherlands or uh, in Holland, where uh, you know he played for the youth team. He grew up through the ranks, playing for Netherlands on that on uh, different under teams, and then uh, he also played. You know, and in, in, in different clubs in the Netherlands, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Venlo was one of the clubs that he played for. He also played for El Celsia. And, uh, you know, later he retired and then went to study, uh, you know, physical education and sports science. And that was, you know, the beginning of his journey into uh, fitness training coach. And, uh, w you know, uh, why he started his fitness uh, training uh, career, he's obviously also done really well for himself. Starting his uh, uh, fitness training career uh, around 2011 when uh, he uh, was the fitness trainer for Anzi Makachikala. Uh, and then he did really well and, uh, you know, he went across Europe to uh, Germany, Stuttgart. was also another, uh, another one of the club side that he did. Uh, services for as an assistant coach in the capacity of a fitness trainer he also um, did a job with Polk and then Wylam you know among others but this man is a certified professional in fitness training and uh, you know he is uh, definitely a world-class uh, one of the you know highly sorted after fitness trainer which is you know one of the you know one of the good reasons why i think that you know the super eagles obviously uh hit the jackpot on this one and of course we know that we have injury issues from our, for our players and uh this man is definitely someone that is going to uh you know help us in these aspects especially helping our players get the right uh training routines the right uh you know mentality the right uh activities to actually help them prevent injuries but again uh, uh there is also barua barua latunji i've talked about him he's the goalkeeper trainer he actually was with finidi and uh, posero in the last tunnel but finidi decides to keep him uh you know as the goalkeeper trainer of course he continues the role uh, so those are the four guys right now finity obviously still needs a match analyst uh you know uh, this the position to actually be filled so nff are still going to help provide him with that uh person and the report is that the person is going to be a foreign match analyst that's going to join in now but uh, that's that on that front and then there's also victor Ekweba who's now sent out a warning to uh, to the assistant coaches, uh, you know, uh, especially to Amunike and then uh, James, who are the first and second assistant coaches, because of you know because of the situation that happened around three years ago with uh, Amunike and Eguavon. Of course, in 2021, you recall, uh, you know, Eguavon was a coach, Amunike uh, was the assistant. And then uh, Victor Ikweba is saying that there was an issue or there were several issues that actually erupted during this era uh, and that uh, he would hate to see this kind of situation occur again, uh, which is why he's now, um, you know, begging or imploring uh, Amunike and the other guys to actually uh, respect Coach Finidi because he is the boss uh, so that there won't be any clash of ideas or clash of uh, philosophy and all of that. That's the video guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to react to any of the uh, content, any of the stories that you feel connected to and uh, don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe if you've not done so and have a lovely day guys.